Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Habitcraft Season 6 with me, Full Symmetry. Today we are at the pirate campsite we made last episode and I've been just enjoying my time over here. Look how cosy it is, the sun is going down, we can watch the sunset, sort, sort of not really, there's a big giant mountain in the way. But other than that, we need like a chair over here somewhere. We can sort it. We can sort of see it, but it's, it's lovely. But I am a little bit lonely over here, and I did do what I said in the last episode, which is message a zombie Cleo, who of course has that big giant pirate ship over here, and is basically the, the armor stand expert, I guess, of this season of Hermitcraft. Look at these armor stands, they look wonderful. And yeah, it seems like she might be interested in doing um, a project for us, um, adding the armor stands over there and basically just decorating the area so it doesn't look so sort of sad and lonely because I don't know, I just can't bring myself to do the armor stands and faff around with it for like hours on end. So I'm gonna leave that up to her if she wants to do it. Um, so yeah, definitely check out that episode if she does make an episode on that. It's gonna be a fun one, I'm sure. Anyway, so we're over back at my base, but not for long today because I need to firstly change out my pickaxe because my pickaxe has died. Ripperino, it's gonna go in there. And we are basically packing up. These here are what we're gonna be taking with us today. Now I'm gonna hope that most of the materials I need today and perhaps for future episodes are in here. I could indeed probably spend some more time packing up even more things. Oh, I should also mention this by the way. This uh, was down by my fountain and I brought it up here because I would forget it again if I left it down there. But basically, long story short, I tried in live stream to buy a whole bunch of, oh no, was it in video? I can't remember. But basically I tried buying a whole bunch of sea lanterns and yeah, it didn't work. So this says, dear false, this is a home delivery from Sahara. We know we miscalculated our stock and you didn't get your full order. We apologize for this and hope that this free home delivery of 10 extra sea lanterns uh, sea lantern sets will make you happy. Thank you for hashtag shopping at Sahara and welcome back any day. Keep the shocker box perfect. So basically I have a free shocker box and a load of sea lanterns which does, I'll be honest, make me very happy. So I am now even more of a fan of Sahara. Um, I'm part of their fan club now <laughs> after that. So uh, I do appreciate that, it's cool, thank you. And um, yeah, I do need some sea lanterns because, oh no, I, I, I think I actually made these because I, oh no, these might be the one I, ones I bought. I don't know, anyway, you should probably, you know what, let's take some of those with us. And also, actually, good idea as well, take some torches and some lanterns. You never know if you're gonna need some torches and lanterns because today, guys, we're moving out. Only temporarily though, but uh, I do want a second home. I've lived in my giant palace for so, so long. But anyway, it is time for us to move on and set up camp elsewhere. Elsewhere being this spot over here, just outside of town. You can see the, uh, the big gigantic builds over there. What I'm thinking is there's this big area that I've sort of roughly torched up over here, which is not, you know, being used for anything. Uh, someone's flying by over there. Uh, completely empty. Nothing's going on, and you know what? Not only am I thinking this is a great place to move to, but more than anything, what a fantastic place this is to try and make some money. Yes, guys, Fultz has her money brain on. She is thinking she can make some money from this over here. You see this? This, this silly line over here to sort of warn people from going in although to be honest it does work i'm actually kind of terrified to even go near it i'm not even going to go near the line maybe later maybe when we start building the roads i'll have to go a little bit nearer but for now i'm trying to stay away in fact i don't know if going in this water is probably a good idea who knows what kind of nonsense is coming from that place over there but yes there are rumors flying around about this place. Now I've heard about suspicious alien kind of creatures. I've heard about spaceships and weird flying things nearby. But have I seen any? No, not at all. But that doesn't matter. Because other people are very, very, very much interested in the possibility of those things being nearby. So my plan is to not only make a house over here, but to make a town. 
Yes, guys. A town. We're gonna try and make some money out of this place, okay? So, gonna build a house today's episode. That's the plan. You know, get some roads going. Get, you know, the brief plan of action for this place. Because there is a, there is a whole bunch of area to fill over here. So if we can get ourselves, you know, a base of operations. A, a place we, where we can call home. And, uh, you know, we can use some of our money that, you know, is left over from the palace build and build something quite nice. We can also start expanding it to create businesses. We can sell merchandise, we can sell food, we can sell whatever we want. We can even sell plots to other people and take a percentage of what they make. So this is a great business plan. I'm hoping you guys are ex as excited as I am. And um, yeah, I should probably probably get a bed actually. That's one thing I forgot to bring with me. So uh, should probably start building, planning some roads and Having a good old nap. Oh. Or not. So as the roadworks are going to be pretty boring, we're just going to go with the simple plan of hooking it up to the base. Uh, probably about here, because that is where there isn't any water. And it's probably the flattest place to hook it up. We're then going to come across this way, and we're going to also hook it up to town. This is the line that I've got for town. And if we go straight ahead that way, we hit the town, and basically... That is specifically to keep everyone happy, okay? We want to keep those guys happy so they don't get mad at us, so that those guys can get in and out of their base, no worries. If they've got any, you know, building resources or anything they need to take, you know, they can totally use our roads, so we're not going to bat an eyelid, it's completely fine. And then if we go this way, we're going to be bringing in the people from the town that are interested in aliens. So, you know, uh, they're going to bring us the money. So I'm going to try and keep everyone happy with this road. So let's get ahead and uh, start building this thing. Well, the majority of the main road is now done. I had to do a lot more terraforming than I wanted to. But I feel like just making the, the, the general area a lot more flat um, just will help us with building things. And, um, yeah, just make it, just make it, you know, easier to, to work with. There are, oh, I didn't realise they had security set up already. Um, okay, well, I was just about to say I haven't actually built the road right up to the thing yet. So I, I do need to do that real quick. So if you, if you wouldn't mind security, um, I'm gonna have to kill, kill you. I don't know if this is gonna go down well. I'm building the road for them, but I'm also killing their problem probably well-paid security guards. Um, oh, I've just realised I have built this a little bit tall. Um, I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, sorry, I'm totally not touching anything. I'm totally not going... I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking over there. It's fine. Don't worry. Didn't kill your security or anything. They'll, they'll probably just think they're on holiday. It's fine. Anyway, let's have a look from the sky real quick. Again, not flying anywhere near that thing. Um, yeah. Looks good. It's sort of like a weird zigzag. Uh, this, of course, will go towards town. In fact, let's follow it along. It should, in fact, line up with the wall nicely. Um, and it's not, you know, in the way of Hermitland. In fact, this is a road to Hermitland as well. So we'll get anyone that goes to Hermitland to come as well. Oh, good. Guys, this is, this is fantastic. This is going to work great. But yeah, I'm running out of concrete powder to build the roads. So the roads are going to have to stay as they are for now. But I'll work on that off camera. Anyway, the actual thing we're meant to be doing in today's episode, building a house. We need to do that, and I need to figure out where on earth I want to put it. I think I want to put it, mm, I don't want to put it in the prime location, which are prime locations for things of obviously, you know, people are, wanna, gonna, are gonna wanna be, you know, uh, closest to, to the entrance, right? They're gonna wanna be down that end. So if I think I, I even make my house here, uh, or, or like over there maybe, I think that's going to be our best bet. Yeah, that's going to be better. So um, I guess I'm going to start planning this thing. Uh, I might even mark out some of our other, other build plans. I do want to build a motel and I do want to build some sort of merchandise store. But I think what for now, I'll just sort of mark out an area with scaffolding. Similar to what Azuma did in the modern district. Just to sort of make sure people know that that is, you know, it's my town. It's my it's, it's my town. And um, yeah, we should be good. Where's where's, where's the scaffold? Where's, where's, the, where's, the sca where's the scaffolding though? Hello? Did I? Oh, there it is. Okay. 
I thought I'd forgotten it. <laughs> so a little while later, I have finally got some buildings planned out. We've got three buildings. This is the one we're gonna work on today. Hopefully my stuff won't be in the way. We've got this one over here uh, and that one over there as well. We've sort of just given ourselves a guide and I've got an idea in my head about what they're going to be. But also let me know in the comments what buildings you'd like to see here. Perhaps you have some ideas of ways I can make some money, you know, and things like that. I have, however, noticed <laughs> a new addition over here. What is that? That appeared quite quickly, actually. I've been up and gone that long, and there's already some action going on over here. Come on now, that's, what is that for? Keep keeping an eye on me, are we? Is that a spy tower I see? I think that's, that's probably a spy tower, isn't it? Are they really that worried about security in there? I mean, I mean, I don't want to get in there because I don't really want to get arrested, but, you, you know, well, I mean, they haven't really got aliens in there, so I don't know what that's all about. Hmm. Anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll let the, uh, you know, the strange Area 77 uh, people, you know, do whatever they're doing. Who knows? Anyway, we're just here to make money out of them, that is all. Right, let's get on and build our house, because, you know, it's a nice view we've got here. Look at this sunset and sunrise, we can see it all. Okay, we have a little bit of a base down. I've decided that we're gonna have some patios. These aren't super common to have in the UK, but in America, um, people have them quite a lot, like little patios that they can sort of sit out and watch the sunrise. And I thought, you know what, seeing as that we have the sunrise and the sunset on either side of our house, let's have a patio that either side so we can sort of see the view. So I want a big sort of bay window at the front over here. Uh, would look awesome. And then we're literally just gonna basically take this whole thing around. Let's, yeah, let's let's build it up by four. That'll be more than enough. And then I think what I'm gonna do is once I've gone around with all of the birch, we'll just we'll just sort of chop out the, uh, <laughs> the windows and the doors and sort of figure out where we want them. But of course, I do want the door at the front there somewhere. So uh, that's where that will be. But of course, <laughs> the sun is going down yet again. Uh, and I mean, I've got some torches, but not all that many. I probably should start lighting this area up, especially actually around the border a little bit, because um, you, you, you don't know what's coming from that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Nothing's coming from the border, we're fine. Uh, anyway, right, yeah, let's finish up this house and yeah, let's get to the part where I add the roof, because that's going to be the fun part. And also the safest part, because I have already been attacked by phantoms whilst over here, which I can tell you is not fun. Right, not quite onto the roof yet, but I am at the stage where I'm going to start adding some, um, I guess, railings? Um, because it doesn't really make sense that there aren't any railings along this. And I'm using cords because I've just got a whole bunch left over from my base, and you know, um, my base looks cool, so I thought, you know what, uh, let's go quartz and butch. Never ever ever something I use together. But, you know, I'm up for, you know, changes. Uh, is this correct? That is the question. I think I've built this one too far out. <laughs> I think I miscounted at some point. Okay, that's fine. We can get rid of this. That is all good. And then get rid of this and then get rid of that. Perfect. Okay, that should work. So now when I come along here as well, it should work. And I want basically just spaces of three in between. Um, two, three. And then one, two. Okay, that's... How have I done this wrong? <laughs> I don't know what I've done here. Maybe I've maybe I've built my house too long. Hmm. Well, it's actually starting to look a little bit like a house for once, which is nice. <laughs> we haven't quite added the roof yet. I think I'm gonna go dark with the roof. I think I wanna go super, super light and then super, super dark. I want this place to be sort of contrasty and sort of, you know, you know, I might, I might wanna sort of stand out, you know, amongst, you know, the rest of the stuff in town. You know, I wanna sort of, uh, I was gonna say show off. No, I don't want, I don't wanna, sh no, I'm not showing off. Um, I just wanna, I don't know, look, look, look nice. I just wanna, just wanna show people that, you know, this is a nice place. You, you could live here if you wanted to, but you're not rich enough, so, um, you can't. <laughs> you have to stay in the motel instead. But, uh, but no, um, so what we're gonna do here is basically 
just finish off the roof. Uh, it's going to be a really, really weird one by the looks of it, I reckon. Um, we're probably going to need, yeah, some quartz there. And it's going to have to basically go around the corner. And then, wait, what happens here? No, I guess, I guess it's going to have to go this way. Yeah, okay, this is going to be a weird one. So it's going to have to go that way. And it's going to go this way. And then I reckon, I want to put some sort of like little area in the roof. Like a little uh, roof thing. Sort of like this area here. How this pokes out. I think I want to put it this side. I think I want one here. So I guess I'm just going to use all of my dark oak <laughs> to make this roof. And then I'll come back to you guys when, um, yeah, when it's done. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just finish it up. Because, I mean, everyone's seen me build houses before. It's just a house. Uh, a very nice house, but um, but a house nonetheless. And then we'll have to work on the interior because I can't be sleeping here forever. I mean, I'm the mayor. I can't be seen to be sleeping on grass. That's that's no good at all. Well, we are almost complete here. If I stop falling off of the roof, I'm adding this little extra bit here. But anyway, uh, what's actually been going on on the server recently while I've been doing this is a whole bunch of weather noises. That is all that's going on. And apparently Iskull is, um, like he says, farming diamonds. Um, all I'm saying, Iskull, when you have uh, mined all those diamonds, uh, or farming those diamonds, um, make sure you come on over and, um, you know, spend them on, on, on this place. Um, just, just FYI, feel free to invest in um, whatever this town's called. Which, by the way, we should probably name the town. I have an idea in my head of a name for this town. But I thought, you know what, instead of mentioning that to you guys and just going with that, let's have some ideas come up in chat. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll pick one from there um, and, and maybe I'll stick with the one I've got. I don't, I don't really know yet. Uh, it depends what, what happens. Um, but anyway, uh, the roof is almost complete. I just need to place, like, a load more blocks, actually. <laughs> There's still a massive hole in the roof. Oh, dear. Right, I haven't done a house interior for a long while, so we're going to keep it basic in here for now. I will swap out floors, I will swap out walls as we go, but I just need to get it in my head how on earth we can even utilise this space in a productive manner. So what I've done is I've just, you know, uh, just built some like temporary walls, and I think the best option for us, because we're not making these walls too wide, is just... It's just straight up um, just using one, using the birch, and two, um, just keeping them simple, basically. Uh, I could add, like, wallpaper or, you know, different blocks uh, for the walls, but I think for now, for us, just, just for, you know, simplicity, we will just stick with something, something easy, right? Um, so I'm just filling in the floor with stone. This is going to be an easy thing, especially while we've got the beacon to just change out when we want to. So that isn't an issue, and I've got plenty of stone from digging out all of the stone that was originally... Actually, pretty much where this house is. We're using the same stone that was originally here for the house. <laughs> that's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, and also that stair can be removed because we don't need you. Uh, that's just a, you know, this is just an idea of where the staircase could go. I originally wanted it in this room, but yeah, I don't know. I'll do a whole bunch of faffing around some more. But uh, let's actually have a quick little flyby because I haven't shown you guys the outside yet. And I think it's looking kind of cool. Oh, it's looking so sweet. Okay. Yeah, the detail will definitely have to be added later though because this, this house is, and, and this area has taken me so, so long. I think that the, the house so far has taken just as long as the terraforming has. And both have been taking me absolutely forever. So, um... Yeah, I hope you guys appreciate the work I put into today's episode. It, it's longer than I've wanted to uh, put in for today's episode, but man, I'm like, excited about, you know, rolling in that money when all the money comes in from all the tourists. Oh, guys, we're going to have a we're gonna have a great time. That's all I know. Um, and yeah, just, just we have to thank the Area 77 guys over there for, you know, coming up with some, I, I don't even know what, some, some stories about aliens. Brilliant. Love it. Right, well, not much has changed with the actual build. We're just going to leave it as is for now. Going to add some more windows. Going to be adding um, a better interior because this just looks awful. I've actually decided that this room's way too small for a storage area. So I think I'm going to move it at some point to this area and this area perhaps and have this big room so that I can sort of, I can walk in and out of this room either side. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, this room, don't really know what to put in here. Maybe a sofa and stuff. 
Uh, maybe this room could have some sort of, you know, some area where we can watch the entertainment. And then um, and then there's an upstairs as well, which I, I, I guess is just going to be the bedroom. But it's a pain in the butt to get to. <laughs> Unless I go through this door, I guess, maybe. Uh, at least I have an actual base of operations for now. I'll finish this off off camera and add the details to it because it's looking a little bit sad. But other than that, guys, I'm so excited about our town. It is about to go down. I'm so excited. We'll remove our beacon. We'll build some motels and some shops and some other things like that. And we'll get the crowds coming in over, over from there, over from there. I'll have to, you know, hook up the road. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff, especially on live stream as well. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash full symmetry, link is below. If you don't follow me over there on there, I do so much, so much work on Hermitcraft in between episodes over there. So that is the place to definitely check on in on this project and see whereabouts I am. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if, if you haven't already and you're excited for the the to totally, totally aliens, inverted commas, um, thing. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.